I'm the guy who's been diving for some time. Certain uh, uh, depth can be conquered by those who've been there getting the experience. Sometimes it's the, how the Spirit of God gives you the access to give you go to the depth. And those who are following, those who are training, sometimes you will go out of your breath, unable to express the things of God, but your desire is always great to know about God. So it happens, it's normal, it happens that we, we struggle to sometimes to unveil the mysteries of God when you have minimum capacity or vocabulary for you to express the things of God. So it's very common for us to struggle, but nevertheless, your spirit is right. Your spirit is right. Your hunger is right. Your appetite is right. We are a generation of people migrating from shallow to the depth. We are leaving the shallow things and we are diving into the depth of who our God is or our Father is. So let me welcome you properly. Good afternoon. Thank you for being faithful to the Word of God. God is raising a remnant. God is raising a generation of people in the earth to transfer Himself into them, into the remnants, so that the coming generation will, will have something to see and follow. And we are, we are those that God has chosen among the rest of them in the other parts of the world or other parts of Singapore. God, yes, God is raising right now a group of people called remnant. These are not a bunch of ordinary people who are looking for religious satisfaction, who are looking for their Sunday obligations to be fulfilled, who are looking for God for what they need and not for who He is. We are not part of that company. We are part of the company who have been sent. We are the sent one with an apostolic mandate. The apostolic word literally means sent with a mission. We are a group of people chosen by God, going through the process of being cleansed, and then a mandate of God placed on our shoulder, and then God say, go, therefore make disciples of all nations. We are not doing conversion. Go make disciples of all nations is not equal to go and convert people from other religion. <laughs> That's the easy thing to do. To convert someone from another religion is easy to do. But to transform one into the image of Christ, one must die and born again. So people are choosing, from last week I say, people are looking for quick fix. So it is more easier to do the culture of the Christian church. I'm not an enemy of a Christian church. I was part of that. But then we have the season has come to an end. God is now, the Spirit of God has moved on. So we can quote, we can speak the mistakes because I'm speaking about my past mistake when I speak about Christianity. So don't get me wrong, anyone, that this guy is speaking against Christianity. No, no. I'm speaking for Christ, not against Christianity. There's a vast difference in that statement. We all are to speak for Christ, not for Christianity, or not for any other movements in the earth that does not carry Christ. Anything that carry Christ is part of our economy, or we part of that economy. So we are no longer, we must learn to address, we must learn to recognize Whatever seasons have been expired, how do you know it's expired? Christ have left the room, not Elvis. You know, there's a quote, American, Elvis have left, left the room. No, when Christ leaves a particular epoch or season, that means he has emptied, he's finished, he move on to something new, the church must learn how to move with Christ, not with Christianity. Christianity... It's another move of God, launched by God, but come to an end. It's gone. Amen. So we need to understand that. We are going into the... I, 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 I appreciate and I thank that we are becoming the remnant. There is a group of people now feeling this stir within you. Uh, being drawn out of the water. Not dr drawn out of the water. Water symbolizes the word of God. God will only look for those who are in the water and He will draw them out of the water and place them in the earth to conquer them. Are you with me? So it's very simple. A lot of nice pictures in the Bible that we, are, we were not properly taught. So one of the key instruments that we need in these days is patience. Patience when you come to the Word of God. God is not going to move according to our time. God is not going to give you answers when you pray. God will answer when He feels it is right to answer. He will, he will speak when you are ready. He will not speak when you are not ready. We have thousand and one questions to ask God. 
according to our own need. And God, He is God. He don't have to answer anyone's question. But then He go, goes out of His way to bring forth a revelation to a son who is ready, who has paid the price, who is earnestly waiting for the revelation of the Word of God. And the Spirit of God seeks those to bring forth, bring them or lead them into all the truth. Now you understand why we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can't be moved by any one of us or the Holy Spirit will never move according to our religious activities or what you do. The Spirit of God is the governor, is the high, highest high court judge. He makes a decision, even the government can't move. You know the government is big, but the judge has been given a power to even overrule a government's decision. Within his court, he is the government. The Holy Spirit is the governor or government or high court judge. He makes the decision to move into any house, any one of you, the house of God, and to make an impact instantly or after 100, 100 years. It's up to him. We can't control. So God is doing this great work. I don't see great many numbers of people coming out yet. But I see faithful people coming out, handful of them. And God has been always using only handful of people to do great works. God has never used great numbers to do his great work. Because his great work is not equal to great numbers. Amen. Great numbers are not equal to God's glory. So, but is God against great numbers? No. If God is going to use great numbers to do his work, then God will be part of the rest of them in the world because everything you need great numbers to do great things. And that is why God deliberately came in the book of John. He came on the fourth day, delayed another two days to come and redeem or restore Lazarus. Because at that point of time, there is this uh, research done by some other I read, said that early days they, there were people which, uh, which uh, those voodoo people they can raise dead bodies in three days. But within three days. After three days, they cannot raise the dead body. They use demonic spirit to rest in that uh, corpse. And then they bring up the corpse. They're still doing in uh, some rural areas of Africa. Africa is famous for that. Uh, I think they do that kind of uh, witchcraft. And Jesus deliberately come on the fourth day to prove that he is more, he is different. He used small numbers of people to do great things. Amen. He used 12 disciples to bring the gospel to the whole world till now, to all generations. It's powerful. So we need to understand. There's a handful of people God is raising and I believe we are part of it. And we need to come to a place of complete, completely submerging ourselves to what God is doing. You cannot put your head outside and put your body inside and ask God to do great things. We can't do that. If you want to see the greatness of this God, you've got to submerge completely into the water and then God will reveal himself under the water no one can see this God above the water you must be submerged in the water God will meet you in the water you got to understand that you got to be found submerged in the water and then God appears in the midst of the water and then there's a dialogue goes on and you will not do religious activities after that. you will not be a person going out to establish religious obligation trying to help people and be a good person no when you go into the word of God, you become a king and a ruler. You will establish kingdom. You will cut chains. You redeem people. You do greater things than what a religion has taught us. You will no longer be part of that. David and the sh sheep, uh, at the, uh, 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 wherever he was, you see David, a shepherd boy, sitting with the flock. That's a picture of a church. And when the, and a bear enters the flock, David will jump in fight the bear with physical hands to protect the flock. Do we have such pastors now? They will run if they see the people on danger in danger. You see, I'm giving you an example. So we need to build the body, the church, in such, that is the model of a church. If you can't be a good shepherd, you've got to be a righteous shepherd. You can't be a good shepherd. Oh, Jesus is good. I already explained about the word good, right? So you must understand now, you got to enter into righteousness of God. 
to be established in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not established by the good of mankind. The kingdom of God can only be established by the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Your good is not enough to reveal this infinite God. Amen. We are in the final stage of all that God is doing, the whole globe, whole world. Because many things are now being unveiled according to the prophecies in the Bible. Many signs. The book of John will break further later on. We need to now kept, run and catch up. You know, we've got to catch up with the, those who are in the front. This is not a time for us to give excuses and looking for a sign. Lord, show me a sign if you are this, if you are part of this. No. God said, no. I've already given you all the sign on the cross. <laughs> I've already given you all the sign through my word. I've given you the sign through my saints. What more sign do you need? You already exhausted my signs. You already exhausted my resources. You've already overused my grace and you still have not come to a place to understand who your father is and what I'm doing. Are you with me? See that? So a company of people now being groomed and being, uh, uh, being redeemed. God is redeeming such because those who have pure heart to pull them out. To bring them into the waters so that God can use them for His glory. I believe you are part of that and all those who are faithfully listening to our teachings and our recordings, I speak for them as well and I know God is doing a great work in all your lives and this is not for you to become a good Christian. This is for you to become the body of Christ. Amen. To become the body of Christ. There are days coming very soon. People will not run to a church building or Christian Gathering to look for God. People will run to you. For you are the greatest manifestation of God. That's the design of Jesus. I'm not speaking against the, uh, the doctrine of Jesus Christ. He was the manifestation of the living father. Anyone who needs to look for God, they need to run to this person who carries God. That was the design he gave to the church, the body. The church, the body, or a person must carry, must carry this reputation or glory of the living Father, eternal Father, in the earth while we are alive. Amen. And more things are coming in my mind. I need to control my mouth. There are more stuff coming up. A lot of things are coming that give you better understanding. I want to share with you one more thing that I am not doing theological teaching here. I'm not teaching you uh, some heavy doctrinal stuff. By right, when you read this kind of book, you need to quote many scriptures. I'm not quoting many scriptures. I'm not, that's not my mandate today or through my series of the book of John. <clears throat> it's for you to bring you through and teach you how to read the book properly. I'm just teaching you how to read properly. Where you have to stop. What are the things should bother you before you skip to the next word. Why are you skipping? Because you don't understand. And when you are reading through without understanding many words, I noticed that in my journey, as believers come to church, they do not have a connection to the word of God. They believe that they have a connection to the word of God, but they do not have the experience of journey with the spirit of the word of God. Because what you read and what the Spirit says, always it is it's two dimensional. We are more connected to what we read and what we can't see. And that's where the whole thing changes. So my mission is to read through and explain how you should read this so that you can see Him better. So that what you build will be more precise and accurate because as you are reading every scripture it demands you to build the body of Christ many of us read the Bible a lot but you are unable to build until now no skill to build so something is not right the design of the Word of God is for you to build the body so if you are a reader and not a builder you are not complete you're not complete people will get frustrated with you the moment you are a reader and a builder. And that's where your Christian church organization will get into trouble. 
when somebody start to read the bible they will start to build in a conflict with that church and they ask you to leave the church i've been through that are you trying to take the church are you trying to confuse my people are you trying to split the church what the moment you start to read the word for yourself if you are living in an environment or growing in an environment where there is no doctrinal establishment you will become the migraine to that organization whenever they look at you they will hold their head there will be a great conflict so then don't get confused oh na edo paavam panta na keel padila na andru ma or pastors thinking that edo paavam these are the things psychological uh, what you call corruption christian organizations are using against people or let me tell you if you run after the word of god if you submit to the word of god which is the right thing to do the word of god will start to transform you and that will cause a conflict around you don't be afraid be faithful in the word don't in, don't go and oppose anyone the word of god doesn't teach you to oppose anyone but oppose every false doctrine think about it what am i what i'm saying here because of the spirit you are carrying by the word of god it's an enemy to anything that does not carry christ and that's why human being think that you are purposely coming against them this is very human centered thing for example if i have a son in my house he picks up the word and brings to me uh pastor i i read this i want i will celebrate that kind of a son who labors and even can teach me something that i have not seen but within the christian society not all but most the moment as a believer you bring forth a revelation you are dead you are gone so god is now coming to restore such faithful people who love the word of god pulling them out from the stagnant water stale water and bringing them to the fresh water and cleaning up the eyes removing the former religion removing the rituals and uh, no what he call a uh, corrupted ritual practices god is pulling everything out making you to vomit everything out and make you to drink clean water and redeem your system your eyes are clear you will know when god speaks that is what's happening right now so many more 20 22 many more people will come here especially from other churches let me make it very clear from other churches why the problem is within the church not in the world to preach the gospel to a pagan is easier than bringing the gospel to a christian because the christian have already have a pre consumption pre 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 assumption of what they think is the christum but the word of god is going to crash that party man we are in that season god is going to break your party you going to break what you believe all these years and you are carrying faithfully god is going to break it and say son this is not papa this is not mine and that's why you must read you must be ready have you been for have you been in love with the religion or have you been in love with the word it will be clean so a company of people being raised by god 2022 much more people will come to this place not to hear michael logan but to see the people of this house carrying the word of god come on you got to understand that my ministry is not to stand here and preach eloquently my ministry is not here to become popular my ministry is not to tell the whole world come and hear my message i will lead you to god i cannot lead you to god i only can lead you to the word of god see the word of god is the gate to god the father If you can't lead people to the word of God you can't lead them to God. Jesus said, "I am the way." Jesus never come and say, "I am God." <laughs> I am the way. So but is then whose position is this exactly? We're going to look at all that. It is the position that we lost. We are to be supposed to be the way to the Father. So we lost it. So God himself came in a human form show us watch me and do this you understand okay then jesus god did it everything so who must be the way to the father now i'm asking you the yeah. corporate body the sons of god in according to whose pattern and design jesus, jesus the word of god who is the body we are the body 
Who is the way? Who is the truth? Who is the life? Who is supposed to be the way and truth and life? We, the corporate body. But according to whose design? Jesus, Jesus. the Christ. So, my job, you think I enjoy myself standing and speaking and doing all? No. My ministry, I know my job. My job is to be the way for many to come to the Father. That is the mandate of the church. And God and Jesus Christ has redeemed. Every time I say Jesus Christ, I'm feeling very uneasy because the con Jesus Christ is not a religious or Christopher Kadavul. I try it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I would call him Yeshua or some other name that if, I, thought I choose to call him the word I love to call him the word the word, the word what was in the mind of the father the word manifested in the earth is beautiful I, I, I'm a bit skeptical about using the word Jesus Christ Jesus Christ Jesus Christ by the name of Jesus Christ they make him something that's right. That's human centric, the way humans understand about God. That God can be put among the rest of the man made God. But the God of the Word of God, I'll read to you something today, Palm Tree thing. You will understand how who this God is. Amen. So I bless each and every one of you out of my way in the beginning of the meeting. Stay faithful to the Word of God. Every day put your hands on your eyes and pray, Father, allow me to see what you want me to see. Open my spiritual eyes. Seriously. Why? These disciples who were walking with the Jesus could not recognize that he is the manifested Father. <laughs> they couldn't recognize him. And very sadly, I will stop in all the junctions where we read where Jesus will be broken because his own sons or his people could not recognize him. Today we have it in our families. I'm repeating this again. You can always misunderstand a father. Fathers are the most misunderstood operation of God in the earth. I'm not talking about those messed up people, fathers who have done all this mess. I'm talking about fathers who carry uh, the glory of God in them, people who carry the word. Now, but symbolically, biological fathers are being destroyed in the earth because the devil hates the fathers. Why? Because the configuration, purpose of creating Adam first in the form of a father was to carry the seed. So, so if the devil has got a Bible and in the book of the devil's Genesis, the very first thing you will find, the devil will have a plan to kill all fathers. <laughs> Dr. Sam Solon wrote in one of his book, he, he said that the purpose or intentions of war is to kill the fathers. All, even in the Bible, all the husbands will leave their families and go for war and then come back. There were more widows. Today we have more widows governed church. Widow is a system, huh? not a woman. A widow minded, that means husbandless. The, the woman who does not have a husband doesn't have sight. A child doesn't have a father, doesn't have sight. It's blind. It will become anything and everything. A church without a spiritual father, you can have 10 pastors in a church. Or you can have 10,000 pastors. But if you do not have a spiritual father who connects to heaven, that is an orphan house. Run, run by demons. A spiritual man or a woman who doesn't know how to sit at the feet of the word of God and draw re revelation from heaven, it's demonic centers. Please. It's very easy to expose them. If you carry the word, they will manifest against you. That's the sign. Pharisees, the spirit, the spirit of Pharisees will always come against the spirit, those who carry the word of God. You are very arrogant. You have no submission. Submit to what? Submit to what? To demonic doctrine? Submit to what? Your culture, your pattern, your design? Submit to what? 
You show me my Christ, I'll submit, I'll put my head on the chopping board. That was me, all my life. You teach something which has got no weight in it. Why? I will spend night and days to read, to find out something, and the pastor will be preaching in the church, absolutely wrong. Error teaching. And then right after the meeting, I have to call one child, yeah, yeah, you put it, you put it, put it I think you were wrong. And then they say, straight away, they will shut me down. They will shut me down. Once my last preaching in my former church, I was a young leader. Already there's so much of commotion in the church, I was about to leave and that's my last message. My last message of that church was this. The church must step out of the four wall called uh, religion. Many years ago. The church must come out of the four walls and then take the city for God. I was... That was my last, they say, no more preaching. You cannot preach like that. Because I explained the four walls. Because of the, the religious activities that does not lead you to the understanding of Christ. You are just doing a ritual with no understanding. The four walls limits you to go further but keep you in a closed prison type environment and that's religion religion will never allow you to go into the depth of who god is it gives you what they feel is right and keep you there are you with me so when i preach this i go into trouble so in the old church um the washing of the feet every month the church will do washing of the feet we will be praying, we will pray a lot of soul-centered soul, uh, soul words that will touch your emotions and people will be weeping and crying. And we will be, I'm not mocking this, uh, I'm not mocking. I want you to hear carefully because we have to migrate. We need to go to the next step of it. So, and then uh, suddenly you will be praying and closing your eyes. Uh, somebody will come and hold your feet and cry. And you don't know why. They'll come with a towel. And they say, please, brother, sit down, cry. Then start to wash the feet. And we don't understand. And when I was standing, the Spirit of the Lord just came upon me and showed me the scriptures and said, this is not what I did when I washed the feet of my disciples. But I was a young guy. I, I could not understand. But I know what they are doing is wrong. This is something becoming more ritual and meaningless. People are just crying. They don't even understand forgiveness. You wash the feet, ask for forgiveness. Next week, you still backbite. You still talk. Now, I don't know Then they won't talk about you anymore. The washing of the feet is anointing and to scent. Scent. Jesus did that. I don't want to go into it. There are many rituals in the old system. People are still suffering. We need to desire for deeper things. And deeper things don't come instantly. Deeper things come when you learn how to practice patience. That means you, that patience demands, uh, it will tear you are like a woman giving birth to a child. It pushes the entire structure of the body, the bone for the baby to come forth. That's how the revelation of the word of God will come to you when you learn how to walk in patience and tolerance to hear the greater things of God. You understand? So it's not... You just read, you go through some, uh, uh, what do you call, dictionaries and you can understand, you can speak. No, the word of God demands blood, life. Your life must be there. Jesus proved to us that every drop of his blood was required and was, it's a demand for greater revelation. So we walk in the earth as sons of God. We walk with patience and tolerance to receive the greatest revelations of God, who God is. And then you become the center of that, what you call the land that have this possession. Then you just stand wherever you are, people will come to the temple. Because now you are the temple. You can't fake this. Huh? If the presence of God come and ascend you, you can't fake it. And you won't understand why people are drawn to you. That is why your life becomes more important. That's the heart of God. For your life to become 
the manifestation of who he is. And that's how much God loves you. You cannot say God loves me so much he give me a house. No, that's not right. You want to understand God's love? This is how you should see. God gave his image to you to show how much he loves you. Which is not right. Not right for him to be in us. It's not right. But that was his desire. You will also see that in the book of John. So let's go into the, let's continue at uh, book of John chapter 12. Last week we stopped at uh, Yeah, I think we stopped at uh, 12 and verse 9. But I'll just do the verse 9 onwards. Just read. See so what we're doing now? We're going to read and we're going to see where we must stop to take a look. If there is something there. These are things you've got to capture when I'm in my meetings and I will speak. I'm not trying to do some Bible study or uh, this is not uh, why he's not quoting other scriptures. Because I don't want to. That's it. That's the answer. I don't want to. I want my people to read the Bible properly. Simple. Read it properly. The word proper means order. The word proper, we don't use the word proper properly. <laughs> Do you know that? We don't even use the word proper properly. The word proper is a very good high level word. It means orderly. We say read the word proper. Not read the word properly. Proper, the word just proper without the lee. Proper, it's a legal word. When you're doing documents, you when you're writing something, uh, when you are agreement contracts, it must be done in a proper manner. Proper means orderly manner, legally. So when you read something, you when you read the word of God, you got to read it orderly, properly. So what is properly? You must have the sight of God, faith, revelation of God when you are reading the word. So this will support what you are reading. Or when you are reading, there must be a voice behind to give you, uh, a, a, and a give you a push or giving you a reminder of there is something there. How many of you have experienced that? When you are reading something, you have to forcefully stop and say there is something there. <laughs> Wait, let me take some time. Stop it. That's the best thing to do. Stop. Don't read further. And then ponder. Ponder upon it. Walk. And say, Lord, I know you have hidden something there. Come on. Share with me. That's what I do. And then one whole day he won't speak. And then at night when I'm going to bed, when I'm lying down, I have this habit when I lie down, I will just start a, a conversation with nothing inside, with God. And in that conversation, he will bring me back to the scripture. Remember, yesterday morning, you asked about this. Are you ready to hear? Wow, now I'm going to sleep. You want to talk about this? Yes, get up. Papa wants to show you. And then he starts to show me. I have not really done all kind of deep theological search. Huh? I don't do that. Seriously, I don't. Have anybody seen me doing that? I don't do that. I've done all that throughout my, my life. Now everything being unveiled because of the position of your heart. God works with your heart, not with your skills, not with your ambition, not with your talents, seriously. Not with whatever you can achieve with your own strength. God is not interested. God appreciates that, but he's not interested because he cannot work with anything that you produce without Christ. God can only enter through the 66 book. If you, have, if you position yourself in the world, in the water, by the water, then God can speak to you. i just putting that in your mind. Amen. So God will allow, God will speak to you when you are reading. You must understand, I cannot read this English word to learn anything. I need your voice. Help me. What is the word help means? Like the word proper means order. The word help means what? Form me. Form me. Structure me. 
இஸ் நாட் ஹெல்ப் மீ ஐயா அஞ்சோ பத்தோ போடுங்க பசி சோறு இதுதான் நம்மளுக்கு தெரியும் ஹெல்ப் நீட் ப்ளீஸ் கம் ஏ நோ யூ ஆர் டெலிங் காட் டு ஃபார்ம் மை அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஃபார்ம் பி மை அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் மேக் சென்ஸ் so that's how you read the word see one thing you will learn in this house is you will learn how to read properly orderly every english word is not giving you the context of what god meant is giving you the british or the american context to you not heavenly context every tamil word you read tamil bible give you the tamil in context not kingdom context the kingdom context or heavenly context can only be given by the spirit of god not through some excellent people who know dialects or language those who wrote these have skills to write language the language but do not have the the capacity to capture the spirit of christ so this book is written that way that means these people are wrong no they are not wrong that was what god that's what what god gave them and that's all they must do but what is the responsibility of the body i have the written word but i need your spirit to lead me into all the why did jesus give on the day what he told the 120 but do not leave now wait for the holy spirit who will lead you into all the truth who said that this statement who said this statement you say jesus right i say the word of god of god you see that only the word of god can give you the truth and the truth is the entire truth is within the economy of the holy spirit but without the word of god the holy spirit cannot lead you into all the truth so the word of god saying but don't go anywhere wait i've done i've completed my until i'm until i ascend return back to where i came from the holy spirit cannot come to you because his job is not completed and the word completes its work in the earth and he returns and releases now the holy spirit to us what is the only task of the holy spirit is to lead us into all the truth which was established by the 66 book nothing out of that அதுக்கு வெளியில ஒண்ணும் கிடையாது churches have no right to call the holy spirit for a healing meeting it's illegal you cannot call the holy spirit to cast out demons it's illegal according to the word because if you know the word then there's no deliverance needed <laughs> if you have the word then how can the demonic spirit enter your body If you have the word you will not be crying for healing because still one day you're going to die. வியாதில இருக்குறவன் இந்த வியாதி சுகப்படுத்துக்கு ஆண்டவரே கேட்க மாட்டான். Mature son will not cry for that. Mature son will say what? Allow me to finish what you have given me before anything happened to me Lord. That's the cry of a true son. No not most of them would not agree to what I'm saying. Because we are so a train and build to believe in god kathar namla kaapathuvaru kathar edavadhu seivaru kathar is not like your mother in the house veetla onnu illa edaachu potu aaki onnu saapadu kuduthura avaru thai that is not kathar edavadhu senjiruvaru paasthu indha maasam rental kadano church la panam illa paasthu edavadhu senjiruvaru adu kathar illa edavadhu seiyirathu kathar kathar illa you understand christ is not to do what you need your carnal need your natural need he is here to do something higher than that he is here to complete you establish you into the infinite god so we should focus on that and not on elementary things andavare inda maasatha na eppadi da kadandu varaporu therla andavare neenga da eppadi aavudhu that's how we pray கோவிட் வந்து ஜனங்கள்லாம் கஷ்ட மறுத்து போறாங்க ஆண்டவரை உங்க சொகத்தை கொண்டு வாங்க யூ டோன்ட் ஈவன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் காட்ஸ் பிளான் ஃபார் த ஹோல் கோவிட் நைன்டீன் டு காம் காட் நியூ தீஸ் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் யூ ஆர் ஃபார்ம்ட் இன் யோர் மதர்ஸ் ஹூம் 
then why he didn't do anything about it? You don't need to ask this question to God and God don't have to answer that. If you really know the word of God, you will learn to abide within the economy of the word of God. That is why I say you don't need to do all these things. These are not mandate of the church. The mandate of the church is to enter the word of God and become the body of and for Christ. If you do not know how to enter the 66 book, you are cursed. You live forever in curse and bondage. What is curse? Living without Christ is curse. Not having the life of your father is curse. Not having the name of your father in your mind is a curse. Naradhiku porudhu koduma illa. Thakapudana peri lama valradhu sabam. You think going to hell is worse? Let me tell you, living without the name of your heavenly father in your mind is worse than going to hell. You agree with me? I'm telling you, we only have one life, guys. We only have one life. Christianity has taught us many things, but have not taught us to carry the name of our Father. We must, we are the one to carry the name of our Father boldly in the, in the earth. Even in the midst of death, you will see your face will glow because the glory of God will sustain you when even everything is not working right. Christianity has become a place where you come find peace, happiness, joy, wealth, finance. <laughs> they have not known the other side of all the journey of the patriarchs in the Bible. Everyone was absolutely bankrupt from the system of the world, renounce everything, give up everything, and they enter into the city of the Lord. And then the Lord gave his reputation to the sons and they live by that. And that status is not in agreement with the status of this world. That is why I'm out of the system. I'm in the land of my father. You understand? That is the design. So verse 9, now a great many of Jews knew that he was there and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priest plotted to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. Last week, actually, I did this. I just want to... Uh, share this again so that can, can, we can stay connected to the context you know about the miracles that he did so a lot of people there's a feast coming a lot of people are journeying to that city for the feast while I'm coming for the coming there let's drop by to see go to the zoo and see some animals today that's how we are running to church after church Though Morgan see Lazarus under car, in the church in the all under church goodi roll. There are many Hindu under car. Inga po, yah who are these people? These are people who will tell you what you want to hear. I'm not against any one of them. Many Hindu or Morgan see Lazarus. They are answerable to God. I, me too. What they say, what they have spoken. If we have spoken anything against the Holy Spirit, we all are answerable to the Holy Spirit. So if they have done good, well done. If they have messed up, well done. So the Spirit of the Lord will come and vindicate. But are they good men or bad men? I don't have the right to say whether they are good or bad. I don't have the right. So whatever they are doing, I still pray that they will honor the name of God. So I just want to state this here. Whenever I mention some name, I am not talking about them being bad and we are being good. So example, Kuta Tapati Pesra. What does be, what is the culture now? If you hear some famous people come, everybody run, want to see what? Because we used, I, I was, I used to be from a prophetic background. People will run to the church. Why? A lot of people from other church attends this church. Prophetic churches are very famous because people from all church, even pastors have a Why? They need a word, prophetic word. Prophetic word. Should I go into this? No. 
But people are very what? Attracted to a word from the Lord. But you don't understand. Every word, it's an ignition. Every word. You got to understand that. If you run and get a word from a man of God, that will trigger something in your life. Don't get into trouble if you're not ready. Word of God does not come to you just to come and rest in your pocket, in your wallet. Word of God will come to trigger your entire environment and bring you to a position of a son of God to bring under absolute subjection to the name of God. Prophetic words do not come to just sit with you and make you feel, give you goosebumps. Do not abuse the word of God. Prophetic word especially come from a great distance to ascend into the earth. You take it for granted. You better not run and ask for prophetic word when you are not ready. And those people who are prophesying just like vending mission need to be shut down. Thank you Lord. You gave me the right word. Need to be shut down. So we cannot be such people running for that. So these people are running. They are very triggered by the miracle signs and wonders. And they are running to look for the one who did the miracle and the one who got healed. And that created all uh, unnecessary attention among the Pharisees, among the other religious leaders. Hey, number sabiki ni kewara ma, angge Michael oke narputa se, ella kutum oh, very. Some other pastors, and another church, something happened. Even Sunday our church nobody comes. All want to run there. So they get very angry. They say we will become unpopular. Then second key point. All the ministries, most of the ministries looking to become popular. Everybody want to put a banner to say that we have done this, we have done that. You saw that church has completely lost its image. That's why we are running very low profile. No drama, no marketing, no advertisement, no healing meeting, no that meeting, this meeting. We have only one meeting and that's eating. Eating. The word of God. Eating the word of God. Every time we come together, that's why the, this place has been designed in a way we sit together, we dwell in the word. We are still in the search, we have not found anything. There's nothing for me to boast. We are still in the midst of searching what the Spirit has to say. We have not, we have not arrived to anywhere to say, thus says the Lord. Wow. That's a very powerful statement. You cannot just go down and tell someone, thus says the Lord. Do you know that? Without giving the word of God, you can't say, thus says the Lord. Come on. You don't have a driving license. I give you the car, I give you the key. Now go and write. Papa say, thus say. Can't do that. So if you want to give a prophetic word to your church, the minister of the house must have the discipline to give the word before a prophetic word or a miracle signs or wonders people are running looking for miracle signs and wonders what are miracles what are signs i spoke last week please listen to last week uh, message you're not supposed to run after miracle signs or wonders do you know jesus did miracle in the church in the in the new testament not for you to practice that Jesus walked on the water. He not, he is not telling you the church should also walk on the water. Jesus healed the blind. Jesus is not telling the church to heal the blind. He is not asking you to repeat what I did. He said, I am showing you something when I heal the blind. Do that. Are you understanding? Every miracle was codified by mysteries. Codified with the attributes of God. What you need to pick in the miracle is the attribute and the mind and the intention of God. Today we want a miracle, not the revelation of the miracle. Agree, Padringla. Very difficult for me to speak because people have already soaked into it. I put them in. Virundar Karmaga Po. Sokan Karekam. How can this be right? That's not the work of my father who labored. Not to give you some bunch, a bunch of healing or miracles and signs and wonders. So such people are running to Jesus to see the one who healed him 
and the one who got healed. Right? I, I'm dealing with that. Now, a great many of the Jews knew that he was there and they came not for, Je not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priest plotted to put Lazarus to death also because on account of him and many Jews went away and believed in Jesus. Now, this is the reason churches today or Christian organizations some are trying to do some miracles and signs and wonders. Then they look for those who are good in other countries. And then they spend the millions to bring them here to make more millions. The moment you do perform one miracle, people will block your church. Now, you think if God is standing there and watching, you think this is God's intention, do a miracle and people come, then God will come back and part the sea again. It's very easy. God is not doing that. Everything God used as a shadow, the shadow now has become real. We are still practicing the shadow. I say use the word shadow, so what is a shadow? Shadow means there is a reality, right? You see my shadow? There must be reality and then you see the shadow. What God gave mankind was the shadow, not the reality. People took the shadow and started to practice the shadow without the reality. Without the reality. That is why the church is so weak, the devil can come and have holiday vacations among the people. The devil can move into their houses and live in their marriage and their finance. The devil has become the master and the lord of the church. Because they are so shallow and weak, they still they think the shadow is reality. No, there is a reality behind the shadow. There is a real person behind the shadow. You got to go after that person of Christ. We need to deal with that mentality. So what is the concept of the present church? They want to attract crowd. Because their ministry is based and they are satisfied by the number of people attending. Now this is what you got to unlearn. It's not about the number of people. It is the, it's the increase of Christ in each of you. <laughs> so you verse this and that. Which one will be more popular? More numbers. So more ministers, they prefer to go that way, not this way. That doesn't mean a small church is a very healthy church. Most of the poor small churches are run by children. Grown up pastors unable to deal with their own poverty. Sinna Sabagar, Marimayaniya, Kastatiniya, Kathir Kaga, Walakiro, Padupadra, Andra Kaga, Nanga Sinna Sabada, Anna Nirtu, Naragate. That's my word for them. Because the word of God, the operation of the word of God, whether you're small or big, is different. You've got to understand the spirit of God, whether you're small or big. So it doesn't mean big churches are wrong, small churches are right. Even small churches are living with poverty mentality. It's also a, a disgusting to the image of God. The church is the kingdom of God. Church is the way to the kingdom of God. It must carry the wealth and the beauty of this unseen God. Whether you are a small church or a big church. So now here the trend is, you will lose your people... To that church which has got a miracle, which has got activity. So nowadays miracles are difficult. Amen? Come on, when is the last miracle you saw? Now miracles are different. Why? Because it's not plan of God. Until Africa and some other country, all they fabricate miracle. Why? What is the intention of miracle? To attract crowd. So what is the second best thing? What is the second best thing if you can't perform a miracle in the church to attract crowd? You need to attract crowd. The more people come, the more finance will come, the more your church will grow. And more people, you become that, you feel that you are satisfied. It's some undeveloped human uh, lust. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no facts. There's no facts. So, 
you need to perform miracles you need to have something that must keep the people in the church that's why music instrument came or smoke machine lighting to draw young people activities that will israel ku pona afghanistan ku ponga inga pona tour pona camp pona ella activity people are spending money and coming a lot of video photo all the sandoshma vaartha illama irukanga jananga they don't have the word indulgence we say indulgence religious indulgence bad habits greed you are just knocking yourself with what you want you like the fellowship the joy the fun within the church veetla problem sabaila da nimmadiya irukkala na angada evana kelvi kekka matta illa church oru oru anadha ipdi mari aite activity place mari aite the church is not that so you need to attract the people so i have to have something miracle signs and wonders cannot i bring entertainment i bring activity all these thing cannot you bring the second best prophetic when the moment you start to prophesy eppadi erumbu seenikitta povumo apdi ella kootama vandrum all you have to see just one thing using psychology i can prophesy you know right now to all of you erumbu erumbu i can prophesy seriously i can prophesy and i can show you it works that is under the is just within psychology only not heavenly revelation can use psyche you can read and practice all this religious religious leaders can sell their soul to the demon and get power to do miracles signs and wonders do you know that you know all the magicians are doing it so you think god is going to play this game no god is far greater than that so the religious leaders here they are they are afraid they will lose the crowd to miracles signs and wonders so they have to kill what the miracle lazarus lazarus is the miracle <laughs> kill him because if you kill him then there's no evidence there's no witness so whenever there's real activity of 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 heaven comes and manifest in the earth that will disrupt the operation of fallen religious organization they will come together a mob come together to destroy the works or manifestation of god in us somewhere we will order matter they will fabricate lies falsify uh, statements they will back by they form groups and you theory ma and that is not clear in that is not clear someone call one of my uh, our believer we don't have members here the believer and say you enga poi kiring oh na michael logan ange ya anga da adikadi church aalunga vandu povaangala anga people don't stay people come and leave and then and the so that was the this guy gave to her and she come and tell me yeah yeah correct in that there yara thanga mudiyadhu because when you come here with your undeveloped mind and then the word of god start to deal with you many leaves only if you stand so this is the church of the few who stand <laughs> it's right tappi kadaiyadhu tappi kadaiyadhu every church should become that people should not come and stand because of the level of your truth corrupted people those who unable to hold on to the truth will leave I'm not talking bad about those who left. I'm telling the order of my house. Please don't get offended. People can't stay in your environment when you have certain discipline. All of us got businesses, all of us got some come for our house. If you want to come to my house early days my uncles don't come to my house. Why? Or we do ganda thani adikka mudiyadhu, siri adikka mudiyadra. Ipdi solluvanga. Appo na varadhinga mama nu solliru. Edhu mukkiyam? versus gorati you come to my house to spend time with me or occasion playing a paradan alla your drinking and smoking is more important means then i am willing to lose you as well and i don't have relatives coming to my house never i didn't ask them to come the principles of my life kept them away come on am i wrong many people cannot fled with me because of the principles i carry they mock at me they will walk away mo mo vaanathil indu guruja mari pesran apdi solluvanga adhu unma da வானத்தில் தான் குச்சி வந்து வி ஆல் ஃப்ரம் அவர் ஃபாதர் வி கேம் இன் டு தி இயர்த் உண்மையை சொன்னால் தான் யாருக்கும் ஒத்துக்காது ஓகே ஸோ தி வாண்ட் டு டூ தேட் தி வாண்ட் டு கீல் த மிரிக்கல் ஸோ தேட் பீப்புள் வில் ஃபோகேட் தட் 
thing what God, whatever God does in the earth, uh, there's a system in the earth to destroy it, mar it or corrupt it. So how can you destroy the work of God? Create a, 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 a what you call, a counterfeit. Another miracles in the name of Jesus. They could not produce the genuine one. They can fabricate uh, counterfeit. So anyway, let's move on. So the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. Why these Jews? So are the Jews here good? They believed in him because of the miracle and not because of who he is in the Father. That's my problem. You got me can put a chicken putting here. I to Tolati in the Versatilla and a good putrono in the Chi, a Sabic Pone, German Andre and Putrono in the Vudilla Canar, and a Kevalki Esu Kurte. Columbini, yeah. If you, if I say, a pretty Esu thinking, I came to know the truth for the first time in my life that he's the living God. I don't want to know about your cancer. Seriously, come on. If you are really living by the word of God, you will not give such an answer. Am I right? What is the real thing? How to answer? God wants to hear from his son that my father is my glory. I draw my strength from who he is. Whether he heals me or he don't heal me, he doesn't heal me. It doesn't matter. I know who I am. I am a son of God. And he is my father. I am not looking for miracle signs and wonders or healing even today. I also have medical condition. I am not going to go and say heal my medical condition. I will always say, allow me to fulfill, finish what you have given me. See, this is the development stages. Where you used to cry before God, now you stand before God. You see that? You used to cry, now you stand. Then the next day, a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm tree. And went out to meet him. And cried out. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when, when then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it, as it is written, "Fear not, daughter of Zion; behold, your King is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt." Now, all these things that you have read before, the story they gave before. It's not complete. If they are Tamil, they preach. Ponu mujhe alaga preach ponu dam. Yes, to come there. Chennangalala, khall poy, and then the palm tree or the pole poy, khall pote. Raja, khall the meela vanda rani ki namak kaha. They, I remember, maybe Nigala nalla chachilin thandri pinga. Yana kapri le. Wherever I go, this was what I heard. These leaders who do not have the depth of the word of God, anyone including me, Irkla, they are excellent storytellers. They are excellent storytellers. They are good in telling you story without the revelation of the story. So now as I am reading, if you go and read my whole collection of the book of John, the book of John will be completely something else to you. It is a key to enter into the kingdom of God. Completely different. <clears throat> so let's read. <clears throat> the next day, a great multitude. Multitude and a multiple attitude. People with different kind of aspect or understanding pertaining to God. They don't have one mind. When you don't have a one mind, you're not a church. You are a multitude. Every Sunday you go into a church and everybody talking one doctrine, they are multitudes, they are not a church. 99% of the churches in the earth that we attend to, we go to, are gathered by with multitudes, not the body of Christ. Body of Christ have one sound, one doctrine. The attributes and principles will reveal this infinite God. 
most of the time we are living among so called so called we believe one body but we are multitude we are multiple people coming in a room with different understanding about god one believe in speaking in tongues one say i don't believe in speaking in tongues one will speak about the fivefold ministry one will speak about the grace of god and one will speak about the pre and post and rapture and uh, they 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 become so ego you know have you seen ego centric christian talk about revelation and doctrine they put their hands inside they like to be very eloquent and i uh, know accord they like to quote this and that idala kalathila belt potu mental hospital okkar vekkanum you know why i give you example ah uh, the more you learn the more you become silent and humble and you will not find people to prove what you know people will come to you because they believe that you know please teach me so long see i'm not attacking your behavior i'm saying that this is something not right if you are carrying the depth of the word of god you will be absolutely humble i we don't look around for people to come let's discuss that dialogue. people are calling me you know people call me somebody call me uncle free come on let's catch up on no come let's sit down let's talk another boy from another kind of a church calling me come on girl let's sit down and talk come let's sit down and talk la come la ha poi va tai tak pono ulunga pathika valik poi that's what i tell them go and get a job and feed your mom take care of your family dress up properly you know walk in dignity you understand you don't do all that stuff don't come and talk about the word of god the word of god is so supreme and high i will not go and take something very as i tell you expensive things valuable things you cannot get in carousel or on the street or shopping if you want a prada you got to walk into prada and buy and prada will not be in shopping come on You want a good coffee you go into Starbucks and ring. Mm. You don't go inside a coffee shop and say give me a coffee like Starbucks he will slap you. The things of God is very high. And you see this kind of cheap operation sorry I think you are a, you are an imposter or maybe you do not know what you are talking about. I will find the highest operation. That's why I went to South Africa all the way spent tens of thousands to find an apostle and heard the word from him. You cannot get that kind of word in here in Singapore. There's not one in Singapore can give that kind of a sound. South Africa la andru olichu vechirukkaru. Yeah, in the Nadu kadar madipu theriyadu. And the pokisu the olichu vechirukkaru anga. Even today this nation could not receive such a apostle. It's a disgrace to this nation. There are many great apostles out there cannot enter the city because the city is like the parasites. They want to kill every miracle that Jesus has done. A lot of great men and women out there, real genuine product of God, cannot enter our city because our city is narrow-minded. They can welcome everything, but will shut the doors to the spirit of God. Like the the what do you call like the virgin who do not have oil. That's why we need to be that. Today, what am I working? This house. must come to the level at least to give a signal to heaven to say we are here for you please come use to use this gate and that's how the apostle entered through this gate into this nation but the nation reject the lazarus and the jesus <laughs> they rejected both we have entered many cities they just want to know what fits my profile they are not hearing what god has to say nobody want to change their themselves for to manifest god they want to ask god that will fit them and make them look good today many are going to the apostolic meetings to learn knowledge only have you seen apostolic people speak with the, the lingo they speak but there will be no manifestation kalanga da i'm putting ourselves in a difficult position because we cannot be that we need to die to ourselves to manifest this god it is not a set of style fashion that you learn how to do this and then you present to the world cannot christ is not that it's more than that 
Christ will only impact your inner man. And then the manifestation come from inside. And that's the true body of Christ. A great multitude that had come to the feast when they heard Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out. Why did they took out palm leaves and went out to meet Jesus? Have anyone ever done a research? Why and when palm tree came into the picture? There must be a reason. Everything in the Bible has got a reason. People did many things with no understanding. All creation, take note, all creation, all creation expresses the attributes of God, including trees, plants, insects, everything, somehow carry an expression of God, everything. So when you search something, when you research something, you will find an expression of God inside hidden. Then I say this word, but God gave his image to the body. Expressions to all creation. So why? Now all creation looking or searching, yearning, lamenting for the image of God, right? Are you all with me? You see that? So all creation that carry the image of God, uh, carrying the expressions of God, only revealing certain aspect of God, but looking for the image of God. They know the image of God, but they only get to carry the expressions of God. So all creation today looking for the image of God, where must they go? They must find who? The sons of God. And what will they do? They will worship the image of God in a son. That is the whole plan for Adam. All creation came to Adam to touch and celebrate the creator. But Adam lost it. So this palm tree, palm leaf, expresses something. Can I have my iPad? I have some information. There. Palm tree, in Hebrew is Tama. T-A-M-A-R. Also meaning flourishing, upright. The branch symbolizes I, I, I got some notes that I need to share with you. I think this will take the time. This is very important. Why? One time. It's one time. Palm tree is mentioned in many places in the Holy Bible in various contexts. People who live in tropical and semi-tropical areas are so familiar with the graceful, towering beauty of palm tree. Uh, uh, in India, they are very commonly found. The tree gives a lot of meaning by the character or characteristic of the stately growing tree. Seven character of a palm tree must be found in believers who believe in the word of God. So whenever I use the word believer, I'm trying not to use the word Christians. A believer means a believer of the word, not a believer in my church. You got to be a believer of the word. Okay. So to quickly tell you before I just read this, to quickly tell you, Palm trees, wherever, I didn't know about this much. But when I was in Indonesia, there was a project that I had to work with. There was a plantation to sell. And then when I went into the depth of studying the whole documents and all that, then the government came, gave instruction to remove the palm tree from that part of the area, remove the plantation, did one. But palm tree produced one of the top uh, quality oil. They used to use it to make even fuel. And they say remove it. What was the reason to remove? Because a palm tree will abstract everything that is in the land and whatever neighboring land. It will pull everything. It drinks a lot of water. So wherever you have palm plantation, it's also a sign there's a river. There's a river. So it draws and pulls the water to produce the best 
it doesn't have branches it the tree grows upward it speaks about it's always looking up drawing the design from heaven it uproots every other kingdom this this palm tree also speaks about the kingdom or the rulership of Christ Jesus that when the kingdom of Jesus comes it will pull everything every other dominion out i'm quickly because i just saw the time i'm, I'm i can't able, i won't be able to finish this but very powerful meaning palm trees palm trees grow straight up it has no branches always looking up towards heaven and palm tree grows to great height sometime even 100 feet a true believer is always looking up a true son is always looking up towards heaven heaven is the design for a son to live in the earth trying to know the will of god the father and fulfill the divine purpose or will rooted in the land rooted in the word fertile or not it grows up sucking the moisture from the earth you understand what they does whether it's good season or not good season season they still grow and one of the thing about palm tree they are always green even in a hot day they won't go dry they know where to go and draw moisture very powerful sucking up the moisture from the earth our life on the earth should be nurtured by the word of god our good deeds give us the moisture our good deeds our act upon or uh, our act uh, our behavior our change according to the doctrine of christ correct gives us moisture to grow and that's why in the book of psalms the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree notice that mm. palm tree is known for its usefulness from top to bottom each and every part of the tree is useful only the poor in eastern countries like india know the value of the tree it gives the cooling effect in in effect by its shade as well as its product it has many medicinal purposes also it is profusely used in indian medicine system and many other so i want to just bring you give you the point for this context what is the why they took the palm leaf and they came to jesus they took the palm branches of the palm tree and went out to meet him and cried out so they took the palm leaf as a symbol to bring to jesus so what is this act why they use a palm tree what is this act here jesus is a branch and that branch belongs to a body the tree who's the father a branch it has got the power representation representing of the body you come and put down there telling that your kingdom come the palm tree or palm leaf or the palm branch symbolically declaring they put at the feet of jesus for him to walk through right on the donkey mm. saying that let thy kingdom come when you plant a palm tree in your garden all other plants will die it will abstract every nourishment from all other plants it will drink the river dry so what is the picture where the kingdom of christ jesus appears no other kingdom can survive yeah. <laughs> so they bring these branches put at the feet of jesus and saying what what did they say hosanna means what save me rescue me so what are they telling to this king this they putting the palm tree and telling jesus what let thy kingdom come and then redeem us back into that kingdom they don't understand but they declaring something they saying redeem us o sana lord is that you according to the scriptures it's your kingdom here 
Then we celebrate your kingdom. Please do not forget us. Please take us in with you. This is a cry of a son. Cry of a son. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's why they put a branch. Jesus is the way to the Father. Blessed is, who, uh, is he who comes in the Onomo. Salel. The name. The one who carries the attributes of the Father. So now presently, who is that person in the earth now? You, you. and me. The one who come in the Onomo of the Father. Okay. The name speaks about the Father. Jesus the Lord came with the name called Father. So let me read again. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name. Now every time the word name, there must be capital N. That is why English is so messed up. Yeah. They give Lord capital L, but the name they forgot. That, that's why I tell you they don't understand. Those who write this. If you go and ask Jesus, say, don't put my name capital, put his name capital. But his name has to be capital because he is the capital. But I can't go and put my name capital. So in our life, everything that pertaining to him must be revealed. So the word name there, N-A-M-E, I think the, all the four letters must be capital to speak about this infinite God. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. Not the name of the Lord. Tamil are very good in the Varte. Ure Perane. Deva Kumar. I don't know how they mention in Tamil. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Tamil and not so long. Tamil will be 30 parna. Namam. Kathurde Namatla. Namate Sumandava. Namate. I don't know what they put, but God is check the line because that's we need to fine-tune this. Because the one who come manifests, come manifest the name, attribute, personality is the Lord. Lord means the master who will show you the way. Today, you and I are the little lords who carry the name of the Father. Okay? I just want to place this in your mind. Hosanna, save us, redeem us. That means redeem us back into your image. That's the word. Save us means what? Save from your problems and troubles. No. Save us means reconfigure us. Rebuild our mind. Help us to return back to the image of my father. The pre-fall of Adam. Are you with me? The king of Israel. Israel is my beloved. Who is the king of Israel? That means the Israel must carry the attribute of the king. The king of Israel. The design and the owner of Israel. He is the one who provides the image for his Israel. Okay. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it as it is written. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Oh my God. Behold, your king is coming. It's written in what? Zechariah 9.9 Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's coat. We're going to break this. In the Old Testament prophecy, fear not, daughter of Zion, speaking to the body. A peculiar position God gave to those who carry the name of the Father in their mind. Gets to stand into this particular location where they can stand with God. Zion. They can interact with God. Given privileged position called Zion. Zion. So he says what? 
Fear not, daughter of Zion, the church. Behold, your king is coming. The one who will give you that status and position is coming. How do you recognize? Sitting on a donkey's coat. He sits not on the father donkey. He sits on the child donkey. Donkey's coat. Young donkey. Why did Jesus do that? Do you know right? He asked to bring the both the donkey. But then he will sit on the young donkey. <laughs> Why? With that we wrap up. Have you all ever thought about it? This is how you got to crack your head. Because Jesus came into the earth to establish the young donkey. What are donkeys used for? Carrying weight. Carrying weight. What is the weight, the word for weight that I taught? Kabot. The glory of God. Weight. Glory of God. So this young donkey, symbolically speaking about the sun. Carrying the, it has been designed to carry the weight. He did not sit on the father donkey, he sit on the son donkey. To me, when I was reading it, the kingdom of Jesus Christ came into the earth to give the his kingdom to the sons, to us. He was representing to heaven mankind or the corporate church body. So how the kingdom of God will come through the son or the young donkey. I don't have the time but you need to read this because I, I think I spoke about the father son wine skin on the donkey here. So he, this the Lord came upon the young donkey. The kingdom of God will come through the manifestation of the corporate body who is also a metaphor here, the young donkey, the coat. The coat. His disciples did not understand these things at first. Notice that. They have been with Jesus, but they don't understand what he was doing. The disciples or his disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that he had done these things to him, unto him. They did not understand at that moment. But after he was gone, everything made sense. These are some of the things you will not understand now, but only when your eyes are open. Therefore, the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. For this reason, the people also met him. For what reason they met him? Because of the miracle. Miracle. Because they heard that he had done, done, he had done these things. Because of the miracle. They were attracted to Jesus. They were not attracted to him because he was the mystery they were looking for. Of the father. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, You see that you are accomplishing nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. The Pharisees said among themselves, What you guys are doing? That's the problem. Look at the mentality. In verse 20 Now there were certain Greeks among those who came up to worship at the feast. Then they came to Philip, who was from Bethesda of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly, Heaven is saying, most socially means heaven is saying, I say to you, I, the Spirit of the Father, say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life 
in the world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him, my father, will honor. There is a lot of angles inside this. Just imagine, Jesus is not talking it with, he didn't speak like that. Hey guys, come on, the hour has come. Son of man, need to be glorified. He's not talking in this mood. Because he's further being provoked by the people who come to him to look for miracle. And he's actually very displeased. Very displeased. He's not, because they are coming to him for the wrong reason. Do you know when people relate with you for the wrong reason? If you find that out, what will happen? Those people who use you, they come to you just to use you. They call you only when they need something. How, would, how do you feel? Now, probably I think he was in that stage. That these people are coming outside, they're telling to the disciples, Hey, I want to see Jesus. And then the disciples, Hey, hello more. A lot of people want to come and meet Jesus. And they thought it's a good news to Jesus. And then Jesus, very politely telling, These are not the people I want to meet. <laughs> That's the whole context here. But the one who does the will of my father, the one who comes, the one who abides in the word, the one who abides in me, these God, my father, will honor them. So who are these people you're trying to tell me you want to meet me? I'm not interested. I'm not here to meet such people. I'm using my own words. So go back and read this portion. But in closing, I want to read uh, Revelation 14 pertaining to the Zion community. Chapter 14. You see the daughter of Zion. So I'm going to read the company, the Zion company profile. Then I looked and behold a lamb standing on Mount Zion. The lamb, symbolically the word of God stands in that location. I tell you Zion is a position where the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion and with, you see, with, with Him 144,000 having His, what? Father's name written on the forehead. So Zion speaks about those who stand a particular location in agreement with the Word of God having the name of the Father in their mind. Are you all with me? Okay. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters, and like the voice of loud thunder. And I heard the sound. You know why they use running water, loud thunder? You know why? Because you don't have the clo any description, the best way to describe. We are familiar with running waters. We are familiar with thunder and lightning. So when God was saying, they could not perceive what he was saying. So their description is thunder, lightning and rain. I'm just saying this to you. Because they could not figure out what was it exactly. But they heard the voice of God come to them like thunder. That means they are trying to tell, it was a great sound from heaven, from, from sky, from the sky. I heard the sound of harpies playing their harps. I heard the sound of harpies playing their harps. What did I taught you guys about music? What is a harp? An instrument. An instrument is what? Speaks about the doctrine of Christ. The word. But then when it comes out, when a man, he plays, he release what? I, I, I taught you guys... It releases a music in agreement with who the father is. <clears throat> the true purpose of playing music. <clears throat> the instrument is the word of God. A harpist playing. That means the life of the harpist manifests the word of God. These are the company of people in the earth. They sang as it were a new song before the throne. A new song, again announcing this strange and unseen God. It is new to you, 
but he is not new it's a new song the new song is speaking about what the attributes of god singing a new song before the throne of god the throne is the sight to see and sing the throne describes about his kingdom and his governance <clears throat> before the four living creatures and the elders four living creatures have many meaning in the bible the four gospels in the bible also known as the four living creatures that's why i say four living creatures all the creation carry the expressions of god all four gospel was unveiling the expressions yes. of god unveiling the image of god the four living creatures in the earth crying out the nature of god all living thing crying out the nature of god before the four living creatures witness are huh, and the elders and no one could learn that song except no one could learn the new song except the 100 the 144000 who were redeemed those who were redeemed by the lord those who were redeemed by the word of god they could sing the new song the others could not relate to the song redeemed from the earth these are the ones who were not defiled with women plural with women different ideologies concept they didn't sleep with that woman okay for they are virgin they kept these are the the people the remnants who kept themselves only to what to for christ this also condition of the churches these are the ones who follow the lamb the word wherever he goes these were redeemed from among men again now among men being first fruits of god and to the lamb and in their mouth was found no deceit no deceit for they are without fault before the throne of god 144000 the company of zion this a particular group of people who kept themselves virgin means pure for the lord for his name for his glory who carry the name of the father on their forehead on their forehead amen so the world not talking about mark of the b666 but the bible has given us this scripture to say even before that we are to carry the mark of the father the name of the father here this is what we need to promote what we need to speak what we need to announce we are not interested in the 666 this is the zion company and then if you go back to the book of john they say the daughters daughter not daughters daughter of zion talking about that body which is qualified by the word of god to stand before the lamb stand before the throne are you with me so next week we will continue to see further see we are reading the book of john and then we are looking at all these uh, uh sheeps where the pharisees and the people are still not coming to jesus but when you read the bible you feel jesus or a miracle nala anega jananga yesu pona pona illa you got to see properly many went after jesus because of what they can get through the miracles not for who for who he is that's my complaint that's my complaint he must be exalted for who he is and not what he did you must be exalted for who you are in christ and not who you are in the world make sense i can preach thousand sermons but if i can't honor my father in my behavior i feel god and people so i want us to look deep think deep remove all forms of shallow thinking dive into the word of god communicate with the word of god draw out what the spirit has to say and establish that inside you 
For you are the one created by God to carry the glory of God and nothing else. You are the one God has chosen whether you like it or not. God has chosen to manifest himself through you and me. So I bless each and every one of you. Go and do great things for God. Don't take things for granted. There is no tomorrow. I don't believe in tomorrow. Today, if you want to do something for God, today is the right time. Go and make a decision. Come back into the word. Commit to the word. And be established for greater days are coming. Greater days means, the word greater means things of God. Next year will be a year of the Lord. I've been telling that. A year of the Lord. All that he's doing will be seen more visibly. And many will run into panic and all kind of frenzy. And the peace will be only found in the house of God. Not in churches. House of God. People will run to church and run out of the church because there is no peace. People are looking for house of God. Only the house of God will carry the peace of God. So I bless you and thank you. I'll see you in the next meeting. Amen.